So by doing distillation, you get a hydrosol and a soup at the same time. One is for internal consumption and one is for the topical use. The ratio is uh, 100 gram the ashwagandha with 1.5 liter of water. From the 1.5 liter, we will get a 500 gram or 500 milliliter of the hydrosol, and then the rest will be in the soup, which we will separate after boiling, and then keep it for the future use. As always, um, I choose the organic ashwagandha because I'm gonna do the internal consumption, I'm gonna eat it, so we need uh, the organic. I like the size of this uh, chopped uh, ashwagandha. It's, uh, it's a good size for distillation and also tea making, so it's a multiple use. Let's put the empty color on. After 30 minutes, so I collected a 500 milliliter of a hydrosol. You can see it's cloudy, and so I can turn off the heat. As always, I want to show you the color of the hydrosol. I pour it into the glass cup. See, it's pretty cloudy. Milky hydrosol, that means it has uh, some oil dispersing the water that make uh, this milk, milky color. After the, the pot cool down, so I'm gonna drain the, the soup. The soup has a more active ingredients uh, compared with the hydrosol. Hydrosol has the essential oil, which is good for the anti-inflammation and antioxidant uh, it's used on the topical the facial spray or hairspray Thank you for watching. Hopefully you learned something today. Like the video, share with a friend, subscribe to the channel and turn on the bell to receive a notice of the new video coming up. And see you next time.